It's very hard being a human. I'll tell you that right now. So much of our emotions take over our hey, logic. Right? Uh, well, my close to five year relationship just went down the drain because of this little demon called. Ooh, I have been in. Uh, well, one long distance relationship. And for me, it started long distance. So it wasn't good from the start. But I. I can understand how you feel. Um, let me play some music. In five years is a long time. Um, is she in Uganda? That sucks, man. Long distance is very hard. Um, Uh, I'm trying to think of a question to ask you that's not uh, too prying, but what what do you think was uh? The real downfall. Do you think it was uh, communication? Just the f because you couldn't physically be with each other, or because I I go back to um... one of my favorite subjects to talk about is what is your love language. Um. Tiga, do you know what your love language is? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm not responding to you in time. I, Because I want to hang out with my friends too, but I'm on this chat for a reason, you know? Well, I feel bad now. Oh, she went to the UK and I went to, I can't pronounce that. And there was no issue really. I called almost every day, so. Yeesh. So, um, okay. I know how you feel. It's the same thing I was talking to about the, um, Canuck earlier that, you know, when things, when breakups or when things happen like that, you can't help but blame yourself. So, uh, you don't have to tell me, but whatever the reason she left you for, um, don't, don't try to blame yourself. I mean, I don't know your situation, but... Just try not to blame yourself because that's what I have done with all my relationships. I, I blame myself for ruining something good, you know, and 
It might be true. I might have done something. I probably did do something. Um, it could have been the fact that I have no confidence in myself to maintain the relationship. So I ruined it from the beginning or... Um, I had no faith in myself to commit to a relationship. You know, the, there's problems like that, but... Um... Yeah, just... Uh, try to stay strong, you know? Just remember that... We're all human. And... We are all trying to find a way to be happy, right? So, um, you know, that saying goes, if you really love something, you'll let it go. I don't know your, I don't know the specifics of your relationship, but just, just think of it as you know, if, um, if that other person ended the relationship because they were looking to be happy, then I think you have to, uh, I think you should try to learn to accept that. That they're not... That person didn't leave you to make you sad. They left you so they can be happy. Right? So... Just try to think of it that way. Because most people, most people don't do things to, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really know your specifics, but most people aren't out to hurt you on purpose. One day she just says she can't do it anymore. It's stressful and it's like a week after our breakup. A homie of mine also in the UK tells me she was with someone new even before we broke off. Okay, so that happened to me in one of my relationships. Um, going, going back to uh, what I was talking about is so there's five types of love languages, right? And, uh, my top two of the five are quality time and physical touch, right? The other ones are words of affirmation, gift giving, and, uh, I don't know what the fifth, I don't remember what the fifth one is, but, but my top two are quality time and physical touch. So if those two aren't met for me, uh, especially in a long distance relationship, it can be very hard. So It's very hard being a human. I'll tell you that right now. So much of our emotions take over our logic. Right? Uh, for human beings, usually, we act emotionally first. And then the people who act logically first, you call them sociopaths or whatever. Because they have no emotions. So, at least you're not a sociopath. Or she isn't either. You know, so... 
Uh, but back to what you just said. One of my relationships, we we only um we, we technically dated for three months. I was in California, she was in Boston, and we started our relationship long distance already. Um, so it wasn't the best start, you know. And it's because we never got to physically be with each other. But because we started getting, um, I guess, a little bit more romantic over the phone and stuff, she needed that physical... She needed that physical feeling. So she ended up having to find it somewhere else because I couldn't give it to her, you know? And so I, I know it sucks. I know it hurts, but you have to think that she, she didn't do it to hurt you. She's just trying to find her own path in this world, you know? So. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard. And the best thing for you to do is just take take that thought of it's just her trying to be happy uh, into what happened. So... Um, ho hopefully, hopefully that helps. And also that's, that's just the thing with some people, a lot of people, people have needs and if they aren't met, they will find out how to get those needs met. And unfortunately, that means, you know, hurting people's feelings. But that's part of life. That is part of life. It really helps a lot. Really, thanks for listening to me and giving me super advice. Yeah, I... Thank you for coming in here and sharing that with me. Not a lot of people are willing to share uh, things like that, especially with strangers, you know? And that's what I was saying earlier about Twitch is that it allows broken people like us to communicate with others. And it helps a lot of us know that we're not alone. Right? So, um, you're welcome. You are more than welcome to uh, talk about anything else. You can ask me anything else. Uh, so, yeah or um you know later if you uh get a little better you can always come back tell me about it i'd love to hear how you improved or you know sometimes it gets worse if you need any more advice look i'm, I'm no expert all right but um just like you were, you and me and everybody else were just trying to find happiness. We all want to be happy and we're all on different paths. So find your own path and um, And along the way, you will find people and someone who are willing to 
go on that path with you. Now, people will def diverge from that path. They'll go and they'll come back. People will come and go, but just find your own path. And just know that it's your path and you'll be fine. I don't know why I feel comfortable when you have this super rocks in order. I will definitely come back. Yeah, I, I try. <laughs> I try. And I really appreciate you coming by and sharing, like I said. So that that's what I try to do. So a little bit about myself is that I have a hard time being like this also in front of other people like my my friends in real life or people I've met because most of the times we are afraid to be vulnerable. But this platform allows us to be vulnerable but but without facing judgment the physical judgment of others but i've only gotten this way because um i studied theater for three years and the difference i'm gonna tell you between studying theater and studying acting is that in theater you get to really know how to access your emotions to bring it um bring it into life right to into your acting and the more you discover those emotions the more you learn about yourself and so learning theater my my teachers have told this to me over and over again it is not therapy, but it is very therapeutic. So it's therapeutic to realize that you have emotions and to express them. You should be able to express your emotions without any judgment. And that's what I love most about theater is that everyone there is just trying to express themselves. And most people won't judge you for it. And that's what I like about Twitch is that, yeah, it's the internet. There's a bunch of trolls. There's a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, just idiots. But most of the people we're all on here trying to figure ourselves out, you know? So, yeah. So you're more than welcome to stay and just hang out or you can, uh, you know, go your own path, like I said. And you can go in your own path, you can diverge and I'll be on my path here and you can come back anytime. 